Hello, everyone. I am Sarah Broughton, principal of Roland Broughton Architecture and Urban Design. And this is the first in a series of R&B chats. And I'm totally honored today to have um, our friend and colleague of the last 20 years, Peter Wanderers, with us. He is the CEO of Anderson Ranch um, Art Center, located in Snowmass, Colorado. Hi, Peter. Hey, thank you, Sarah, for having me. Thanks for being here. Um, so I've invited Peter to talk today about the newly expanded digital fabrication lab that is currently happening at Anderson Ranch. Um, and uh, Anderson Ranch, I know Peter will get into this, has had a long history of being on the forefront of technology and the arts, um, really starting back in 1994. Um, it's a 54-year-old institution, dearly beloved, um, not only locally, but also um, nationally and around the globe. Um, so they are really on the forefront of, of technology and, and incorporating that into the arts. So I think we're just going to jump right in. How does that sound? That sounds fantastic. Thanks for having us. Okay, awesome. Well, where I really want to start is, is what is the vision for technology in the arts and specifically the role of technology at Anderson Ranch? Well, now I'm going to do the typical thing of a guest speaker and sort of half change the question. Okay, go for it. Is, Sarah, that technology is not new to the arts at all. Um, if we look at the word, it's a Greek uh, word made up of, uh, of two Greek um, uh, roots. Techne really means uh, technique, is sort of the root of technique. It means skill, craft, way, sort of manner or means by which something is gained. So it's really about making. The ranch has always mm -hmm. been a maker's place and artists are makers. Uh, the word logos, um, simply put, it's just word. But hmm. think of it as sort of a means by which a, an inner thought or an idea gets expressed or communicated. So it's really about art making. It's about being an artist and technology, whether it's you know scratching on a cave wall or you know for our 50 year history here, maybe uh, throwing a pot um, with some clay on a wheel and, and putting it in a wood fired kiln. Or if we rapidly run that forward, you know, you mentioned the the collaboration with Photoshop. We've been a test center for Photoshop software uh, for 25 or 30 years. Uh, we now don't just have wood burning kilns with ancient technology, but we've got digital electric uh, kilns that you can program to different temperatures at different times. All those tools create a different outcome for an artist. And so what we're really excited about in launching uh, the, the digital fab lab and really this, this new initiative at the ranch is that we're really embracing the technology that's forward looking Hmm. where a lot of arts programs, especially our peer organizations around the country, have largely stuck to very traditional means. We do want people to get their hands in the clay. We want people to feel the, tech, you know, the, the texture difference between tempera paint and oil paint. But we also want people to start being able to take their current skill set, their technology skills, their programming and coding skills, and use that to help realize that inner vision, that inner idea, and be able to communicate it. So to us, it's still right about art making. It's about centuries old, tradition that the Anderson Ranch has, has had a part of, but it's really making that more accessible and open to people. And mm -hmm. to me, that's what's really exciting about this project. So um, we've had the, um, again, the, the honor of, of collaborating with you and your team on, on this expanded digital fabrication lab. It's been fantastic. And I think one thing that's been really interesting is your vision of wanting this to be really front and center. Uh, physically on the ranch as you come in. Do you want to talk about that a little bit and, and, and maybe how that becomes a nucleus uh, for, for the rest of the arts? Absolutely. And we've been, we've been thrilled with our partnership because it really helped us reconceive of the idea of where technology fits. Mm -hmm. And so um, when you think about the ranch, those of you who have visited the ranch, uh, there's a lot of barn siding. There's a lot of old wood. I mean, we're, uh, you know, there's chunks of, of logs outside waiting to hit the turning uh, wheel. Um, it's really, a, when you come on campus, it has a very old Colorado feel. In fact, we are a conglomeration of buildings that were historic properties within the Aspen or Snowmass Village mm -hmm. that have been picked up and moved to the central area. So on our five acres are, you know, a dozen historic buildings. And the idea of how do we put technology in there? How do we honor history and still look forward has been this, this really exciting idea. And I think to, to work with Roland Broughton about really moving the fab lab so that when you come on campus, it's front and center. Um, there's beautiful deck outside. When you walk in, it's this bright open space. It feels like the ranch, but it puts technology at the center of the ranch. Mm -hmm. And I think that has been really exciting. Yeah. I think I want to take that just one step forward because I think the other thing that, that 
has created from that, that vision and that brainstorming with your team is the idea that the fab lab becomes a hub that moves technology throughout campus. It's not its own destination, but it's a resource for the wood shop that it's connected to. And you pass through one little corner and into another historic building and in your, you're in the um, ceramic studio. You're a stone's throw from the cafe or the lecture hall or the paint building. It really allows uh, the fab lab to be a central integrated part of what the ranch uh, campus is. And that's been a, a really exciting collaboration. That's, that's awesome, Peter. Um, obviously, we are faced with a, a massive world pandemic happening right now. And so I'm really interested in speaking with you today about, you know, how does this result in crisis? You know, how does Anderson Ranch uh, lead in that, um, in the arts uh, world's role with digital fabrication? And, and what, what can be the future um, of the arts and the digital fabrication with things such as uh, pandemics? You know, I'm going I'm to step back a little bit and away from the specific project we've worked on, but I think what has been exciting to me is when you look at thought leadership, when you look at challenge, the role of creativity, and whether you're reading Steve Jobs' biography or looking at how do we reinvent ourselves. That idea of getting an idea and trying it and seeing if it works, seeing if that tool can get you the outcome you want, if that material can get you the out output you want, that idea of a challenge, of a leadership challenge, is a place that the, the ranch has always been. We, we talk often here about you have the freedom to fail on campus. You can try it and you can see if it can do it. This digital technology really allows us to do that for an even greater extent. Hmm. So that ability to say, you know, if we run a, run a clay or a resin through a 3D printer and build a mold, Will the clay handle that? How thick can the clay be that we use to fill that mold before we fire it? It's allowing that challenge, but it really opens that challenge up to a lot of new people. So when we look at this new age, and it's been, you know, it's really been a challenge for all arts organizations, but really a specific challenge for the ranch where we have visualized ourselves around this amazing asset we have as a physical campus. Mm -hmm. And suddenly mm -hmm. we are looking at how do we deliver what we do to people who may not feel comfortable this year coming back to campus physically. So yeah. how do we stay true? And, and our phrase here on campus is, we're gonna stay true to our soul and we're gonna stay true to our mission. We're just gonna change the way we do that. Mm -hmm. So the ability to now have online classes that people are learning to code, they're learning how to use these design softwares. We can then print their ceramic piece or we can use the digital cutters to make a 3D, um, piece, we can mail that to them as an artwork, allows them both that sense of a remote digital experience connected to the tactile experience of art making and having an object. So we're really excited about the collaborations and the, and the, the instructors and this sort of challenge of having an idea, creating it digitally, running this through a virtual workshop, and then being able to receive in the mail the physical object that you designed as a class and as a group. It's just a, it opens a whole new door for us. So the idea that this really visionary um, supporter came to us, and this is a workshop student uh, who was sitting in a workshop. She was playing and interacting with some of the early digital uh, fabrication equipment that we had as a, as a prototype. You know, she was really a student in a workshop thinking, how can I challenge myself more in this area? Now this, this student who wants to be anonymous, she's a really amazing uh, person, but she, she was here in the 80s teaching digital design when websites were first being launched as, as something that people could interact and design. Like she's a really forward thinking person. And her idea of, of seeing this vision of the ranch and investing in the ranch, a project or a program that can really help us reach into the future, is really just been an exciting opportunity for us. So mm -hmm. it's, been, it's been exciting. It's been really great to work with uh, Roland and Broughton and the, the places coming together, the space mm -hmm. is built. Um, the computers are coming in. This is going to be ready for the summer for people that want to come by and see it. But it, it's, it, it historically connects to our campus, and yet it completely and directly connects to both our soul and our mission as an organization. That's awesome. What, what amazing timing to, to have this digital fabrication lab. It, it just seems so relevant to, to what's happening. And it's, it's been amazing seeing these stories out there of people being so innovative and adapting. Um, how they are, how they're changing their organization, still staring to the mission, like you're saying, but, but maybe changing a little bit of the output 
uh, to really help uh, with what's going on. And I don't know how you're feeling right now, uh, Peter, but you know, I, I said this to someone yesterday as a leader, I, I mean, it's kind of weird, but I, I'm feeling completely invigorated right now. I, I think that there's such an amazing speed of change that has to happen. And that is happened that, that for me, it's a, it's a total motivator and, and it's very inspiring. I'm really, I'm really excited. And I'll just toss back. You've been, you've been in the workshops, Mm -hmm. uh, drawing class, I think last year with, uh, yep. with, one Simon. Of the yep. with Simon. So that, that experience of being able to step out and challenge yourself and come back, I'm excited to see you in the fab lab. I will be there. Well, Peter, thank you so much, my friend. Thanks for taking the time to talk today. It's great to see you, Sarah. I look forward to being able to uh, clink a glass and have a cocktail in, in the next few months. Awesome. Tell Jen hi. We'll talk soon. Well, take care. Okay, thank bye. You.